conservatives never understood a very simple thing about immigration, that investment follows talent. They didn't make the necessary investments in immigration processing. Very, let's stick to the numbers. Parents and grandparents had to wait years under that party to come to Canada. Spouses and children were kept apart for years under that party. Privately sponsored refugees were kept for years apart under that party. We inherited a 50,000 uh, backlog in privately sponsored refugees. And yes, they lack compassion because they, because they cut refugee health care, Mr. Speaker. Here, here. Well, Mr. Speaker, if the government wants to be welcoming to refugees and they want it to happen in the proper way at official border crossings, why don't they do the easy thing and suspend the safe third country agreements? Honourable Minister of Immigration. Speaker, the safe third country agreement is premised on the notion of better management of asylum seekers between Canada and the United States. It's based on a principle supported by the United Nations Refugee Agency that refugees should claim asylum in the first safe country that they land in. This is, uh, so the United Nations Refugee Agency monitors both Canada and the United States in terms of their compliance with the Safe Third Country Agreement. I didn't think I would leave to see the day when the, when the NDP would disagree with the United Nations. The Honourable Member for West Nova.